Welcome to another update from Force 13 and in this one we have a look at Tropical Cyclone 6B and the name of it is Tipley located 230 nautical miles southeast of Visa Kapatnam, Indian India, apology for the pronunciations, has tracked northwest at four knots over the past six hours. Here's a look at the Joy Typhoon Warning Center's current track chart on the system. Uh, we also have uh, Lubin to the west of this system and this one will be keeping a close eye on for intensification and probably a cat free system however the system is in an area with moderate 15 to 20 knot vertical wind shear that is offset by good radial outflow the cyclone is over the rest of Central Bay of Bengal, moving northwest with a speed of around 8 kilometres an hour during the last six hours. And it's 15 decimal 1 north, 86 decimal 4 degrees east, about 490 kilometres south southeast of Odisha, 430 kilometres south east of Andhra Pradesh. And I know I haven't pronounced that one correctly. However, here's the current position of the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre for the Arabian Sea and the Bay of uh, Bengal. Now we have a look at the various uh, tracks and intensity. The Joy Typhoon Warning Center in their latest advisory uh, indicates that sea surface temperatures are conducive at 29 Celsius. The cyclone is tracking along the southwest periphery of the subtropical ridge to the northeast and shortly after 36 hours or around the 36 hour mark, it will make landfall over the northeastern coast of India. The system will recurve northeast overland as the steering ridge recedes. Marginal favourable conditions will prevail and fuel a steady intensification up to 65 knots by the 36 hour mark and afterward increasing vertical wind shear interaction with terrain after landfall will rapidly erode the system down to 30 knots by the 72 hour mark. The available new recall guidance members have come into tidal agreement lending fair Confidence in the JTWC's track forecast and wave height is around 14 feet. And here's a look at intensity of guidance, late cycle one. Uh, one uh, is actually indicating Cat 5, but it's not likely. Late cycle track guidance. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information on the Arabian system and the Bay of uh, Bengal. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. And I was talking to Nathan uh, earlier, and uh, my uh, view of uh, this system is that the uh, white uh, represents the cooling of the cloud tops, but the structure is considerably better than Lubin.
and repeating animated multispectral imagery shows a slow consolidating system with weak fragmented but very expansive rain bands feeding into obscured centre. Now we have a look at the short wave, the water vapour and the sea surface temperature. Very healthy, 30 degrees Celsius. And we have the wind shear, the reds unfavourable, the green is favourable, yellow is neutral. And 15 to 20 knot vertical wind shear. 24 hour shear tendency, tropical systems love the area in blue and a little bit of the yellow. And for both Lubin and Tipley, the environment's fairly good. And one of my favorite uh, items is the A50 millibar vorticity. And we have a look at what's happening with the upper level divergence. Not as strong as what I've seen. I've seen one system that's had around 70 knots, but the average seems to be anywhere up to 20 knots. And finally, we have a look at the Pivotal Weather website. It's a GFS model and it's uh, precipitation. The scale is at the bottom of the screen. And what I look for is the yellow through to dark brown. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord fool13 at extension 9094.